Okay, everybody. Welcome back to the BRI. My name is Denoris Wilson, and you are now tuned in to the Black Research Institute, which is the BRI, and we're here committed to solving the problems. What we do here at the BRI is showcase black royalty in all its many facets, from entertainment to education to information, all trying to provide some inspiration. I am Denoris Wilson, a.k.a. The Brother. Tonight's guest is a young lady. She's local. <clears throat> um, I haven't had a conversation with her. I haven't. I don't even know her. I was actually scrolling on Facebook and I saw her video and I liked the professionalism that her video um, displayed. And I feel I always feel like anyone that is confident enough to um, invest in themselves deserves a platform for them to let the world know what they're doing and the the treatment meaning the video was top notch it was um it was industry standard um from the the quality of the video to the um just the sound everything was everything was good and i and and i had to ask her to come on the show just to give her some exposure and for me to get to know her so we're gonna run our intro we're actually gonna run two intros because we started the show a little bit different but we're gonna run our intro she's in the studio she's in the green room i see her now i see her in the back you know um hopefully her mic will be working when we bring her on <laughs> But after the intro, we're going to come back and we're going to make it happen. Thank everyone for tuning in to the BRI. Hey, So as I said before, I don't I don't know the young lady. I've never met the young lady. The young lady is a a very good, excuse me. I got to readjust this. There we go. Let me readjust this. Um I like her sound. I I, I like the way it sounds. So we're gonna run this and then we're gonna introduce her. She don't know I'm gonna do this, so this is a surprise. So but everyone, um, this is the BRI preview of caught up by star b way back we were everything i gave you took my everything I sat back and did not complain You took advantage of my pain Now we are right here again Telling me she's just a friend I can't even try to pretend That I don't even care again Over and over you would lie Telling me it's just my eyes Wasn't feeding up my soul 
So I had to let it go You won't get me caught or trapped Fell in love that won't look back This ain't a cycle or a train I'm on to new and better friends You can't even think I'm tripping This wasn't in a full description Okay, that was caught up by Star B, and, and you know when I first heard the song, I, I was like, "Yo, it, this this song it feels like somebody who is already seasoned in the game and they know what they're doing." So, without further ado, man, I'm gonna introduce to you Mrs. Star B. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. <laughs> Tell me your name again, because I'm so bad with names. I am so sorry. That's okay. My name is Denoris Wilson. Denoris Wilson. A.K.A. the brother. Brother. I got that. The brother. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So, look, it's customary here on the BRI that um we... um. Ask a couple of questions. All right. Before we get into the main interview. So the first question is, are you being safe? <laughs> as far as what? However you want to answer it. <laughs> I mean, I just came back from Jamaica. I was a little daredevil out there as far as doing excursions and stuff. But being safe, uh, I guess maybe in this pandemic, I am. Um you know, just keeping my distance as much as possible. But I've, you know, been wanting to be around people a little bit more. So I've been allowing a little bit more people into my circle and, you know, doing things. But I've been I've been being safe, as safe as possible. <laughs> All right. The, the next question is, are you happy? Very. Right now, yes, I am. <laughs> I am. There's been a now my music may not reflect that. OK. My music <laughs> might reflect the time in my life when, you know, everybody has a story to tell. So I just like to tell a lot of mine through my music. OK, so there were times where I was not all the way happy, but I am in a much better space now. <laughs> OK, that's all we need to hear. Yes. You're happy and you're being safe. Yes, absolutely. So we, so we can start the interview. All right. OK, first of all, let me say. Thank you for agreeing to the interview. I'm very honored for you to take your time out of your day. It looks like I'm frozen, huh? I think you are, but I can hear you. Okay, S -s stay right there. See, this is this is this is how the this is how they do you. They see you on a roll, and they make it, and 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 they see you doing things, and they try to stop your vision. Oh, it happens like that all the time, right? But it's okay. You can't stop us. So stay right there, okay? Okay. I got a solution. See, I'm back. I see you. 
<laughs> I done learned a lot doing this thing. Okay. So tell the people a little bit about Starby. Like where are you from? Um what is you what do you do outside of singing? Just just tell us a brief synopsis about you. Star, star, star. Uh, <laughs> uh okay, well, I've been singing. I'll, I'll start there. I've been singing for a little bit. Um probably since my early 20s. Uh, I know a lot of people started when they were like super young, but I started in my early 20s and I actually had a, a, a nice little um, buzz going, but uh, I kind of felt like the R&B industry kind of like it took a little bit of a nosedive uh, a couple years ago and now I feel like it's, it's coming back. And so um, I'm, I love all these new artists that's out here. And I felt like, you know, maybe this is my time again to try and uh, get back into this. Um, I'm also a mom. I have three children. Um, and uh, <laughs> outside of singing, what do I do? I'm an accountant by day, massage therapist by night, and I sing, you know. <laughs> uh, I do quite a bit of things. And oh, and I'm also from Maryland. So I, I forgot to add that piece in. I'm from Maryland. I live in Baltimore right now. I've been in Baltimore for probably the past uh, quite some time, <laughs> maybe like uh, maybe about 17 years. But I'm from Maryland, but more so Prince George's County. So I don't know if anyone knows. It's closer to D.C., what? the DMV area. What? <laughs> the majority of my clients are from the DMV. Oh, well, good. We good. They know it. <laughs> Why did I think you were from Far City? From where? Far City. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, people asking me, like, who are you interviewing Monday? I'm like, yo, this local artist, she's from Far City. Far City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the DMV. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're in Baltimore now? Yes. Okay, so how long have you been singing? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to give away my age. You know, I don't like you say too much. Uh, I mean, I mean I've trust been singing me. for a good decade whatever now. Age, whatever your age is, you don't look it. <laughs> so, um, but I understand you're an artist and you want to keep that under wraps. Yeah. Right? I understand that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. This is the thing then. What made you get into singing? Mm, uh, church. <laughs> uh, my father put me in the choir at church, you know. Uh, <laughs> and that's when I got into that. But now I never had any solos back then, though. I, I, I was in the choir. I didn't have any solos. I was honestly very much... Uh, terrified of singing in front of people and when i said that was one of my biggest fears i got over it literally was <laughs> uh and i didn't and, and it was my aunt who asked me to sing for her wedding and that was the day that everything changed and i'm like you want me how did you even know i can sing but um i did it and it took off from there really I, you know i think the main thing is just you know i have a a different sound or I'm 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 very much I know my pictures and that's why I put in my bio. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm very I'm I'm five one. You know I'm very petite uh, woman, so I have a bigger voice that comes out of you know this you small frame. Thank you. You know huh? you know you you ever heard an artist named Michelle? Michelle, yes, with the squeaky voice. <laughs> 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 sure, sure, sure. Yes. So when when like I don't know if this is your your official first project. This is the first project that I've heard from you. Mm -hmm. So this particular song, it felt like it was written from experience. Right, like, like, <coughs> excuse me. That's okay. You know how you can hear a song and you can tell that they're singing a song that someone else wrote. Mm -hmm. 
right? Because it, it doesn't have the energy that that, that that it should have if they wrote it. Yes. You wrote this song, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> First hand experience, okay. Uh <laughs> I uh, <laughs> my thing is why would you write a song like this? <laughs> it's it, it I, I swear. I mean my process of writing is I know some people can write first and, and then get a track and, and you know make it mesh, but I have to get the, the beat first, the track, and then I feel like the beat tells me what story to tell, you know, to just start coming out of me. And uh, that was a recent story. I, you know, <laughs> uh, I just dug back into the, the uh, a, a relationship I kind of just got, not just got out of maybe about two years ago. And, uh, you know, thought about those memories and, <laughs> and that, and also, you know, and some of my music, you know, I have more music coming out, but some of my music, it's it's not always just me. You know, I have girlfriends tell me their stories, you know, with their men or whatnot, or even I have like my best friend is a man, you know, and so sometimes I can, I'm going to have some of his stories and, you know, my music too. Uh, so it, it may not always be my uh, personal, personal experience, but it is an experience personal to me through others. That I would write about. So, I, you know, I think as an artist and as a creative, right? We're not going to experience everything in life. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not going to experience everything in life. And I think, like, the beauty of a creative is being able to take someone else's experience and put it in some type of art form, whether it be drawings, poetry, singing. Like you're not a creative because you experience everything in life. Exactly. You are a creative because you can look at life and bring it to life. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. You, you can bring it to life. And and that song. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you that the beat is different. Um, the vibe is different. I'm not telling you any of that. What I am saying is I did connect with you as the person singing about what you were singing about it was like a it was sort of like a mary j blige effect ah you know it's crazy it's, <laughs> i said that i was like i'm about to be the new mary j <laughs> 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 you hit it on the nail that is me <laughs> mary j meets star b okay <laughs> 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 because you know what star a lot of things that happen in the music industry now is that a lot of artists are mimicking right they they they, they think it's the style that's hot but it ain't the style mm -hmm. it's the person mm -hmm. it's the person right like i don't care what ra what rapper try to imitate drake they would never be drake Absolutely. Right. They would ne they would never be. They can get the cadence, mm -hmm. they can get the slang, they can get all of that, but they'll never be Drake. Exactly. Even though you have a Mary J type vibe, it's still your vibe though. Mm -hmm. And I like it. Thank and I'm, I'm anxious to hear more. So in 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 talking about more. When are you going to release your next project? So, okay. So I, th I think almost 10 years ago, I did a, a EP back then. Uh, but that was before us independent artists were able to put our music on these major platforms. So that was only available like SoundCloud. My new, I have a new single coming up. Uh, and, I, and I'm doing singles this time around. You know, I felt like every time I try to... <laughs> put together a full project, whether EP or album, sometimes you get lost and like trying to get this song to match up, you, you overthink it. So I just like to throw out singles this time around. Um, so my new single will be coming out in August. So look forward to that. It's already done. You know, I'm just trying to let Caught Up, you know, have its, my, uh, have its time right now. And the next single will be out uh, towards the end of August. I haven't solidified a date yet, but it's already done. I'm just trying to figure out what's the perfect date to release it. So 
Um, but it will be in August. <laughs> you all will like that. <laughs> well, I mean, the BI is a great place to deep it, to like to 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 premiere it. Hey, I'm down for that. You know, to premiere because I'm up for that. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I would love for you to have it. Like the BRI's main purpose is to display black royalty like yourself, but not just entertainment and in, in, in a variety of things. You're actually the third quote unquote artist that I've actually had on the show. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. So. Oh, Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm honored. I'm honored <laughs> because when I saw your video, I had to ask you if you wanted to be on. And not that the BI can help you in your career, but I think at least some people who may not be in your timeline, may not be on your your um, Instagram page and, 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 and have connected with me, they will be able to hear you. They will be able to experience you, and ex and 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 experience what I experienced when I heard that record. Like, I'm not a big, I, you know, those one of those. That's a lifetime record. Yes. Yeah, that's that's like a that's like a lifetime record. Like you can put that record on, as any um, intro on a lifetime movie. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get my get that I'm record in the list for, for them to pick it from. I need to figure that out. <laughs> yes. It's a movie. And because it, it it is I like the fact that you're not trying to show off your singing ability. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of artists that really know how to sing. Like they they really know how to sing, but they don't know how to sing. Hmm, I have an idea of what you mean by that, but um, you mean like, and you have that, like, I'm not trying to outshine the beat, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to foreshadow, I want people to understand this story, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, and I like that, I like that, and I like yeah. the beat. Who was the producer on that track? Uh, the producer, his. I, does he want me to say his real name or the producer name? Fifty Carat Music is is uh, like his brand, yeah. but his name is Jared. Don't say real name. Don't say real. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, I don't know if he's listening or not. I don't know if uh, if he was able to get on. But yeah, and then I had my friend even for the video. Um, he does some of my photography as well. Uh, Quentin Randall Q. Uh, or you can, or with love photography, uh, yeah, he, he, helped got, he helped with the concept for the video. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, he got his shine on in that video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, oh, did he do the videography as well? No, just he just helped with the concept. Now the videography was done by uh, Maggie Rudisil and directed by uh, Stars. So, you know, it's a couple of us had our hand on, on this project. So I thank all of them. Hey, um, it, it, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a very beautiful project. Like it was, it was industry ready. Yes, that's what, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you know? I'm like, if I'm going to resurface, I got to resurface, right? I got to resurface, correct? You know, with a story that a lot of people like can relate to, you know, <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah. That really, the, the, the quality of your video really, really like stuck out to me mm -hmm. because in this new era where people just put anything out, yeah, they just, they just, they get their iPhone and mm -hmm. they just put it out. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and not saying that the quality that they put out is bad. It's the content. Mm hmm. Right, mm -hmm. it's constant of it, and and you, you have the full package. You, yes, you just, I was trying to trying to find balance. Like I know we're in an age where sex sells, you know. I'm like, okay, how do? I, but then I know me too, you know. So I, I, I'm trying to have a balance of artistic vision with a little bit of sensuality and a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, all that. 
<laughs> uh, a little bit of theatrics, as you can see, you know, we had a little bit of acting in it and stuff like that. I really just wanted a true story. What I've been seeing in videos and not to, you know, whatever for anybody else's projects, but I, I love storylines. I grew up on like seeing, you know, even down to like, you know, Michael Jackson had whole, a whole, like it looked like a whole movie, you know, for his videos back then. And now you just see a lot of the same stuff copied over and over and over. And so not, you know, not to say no one has talked about the story I've talked about, but you know, I, I just uh, had a well, little bit different. What, what, you bring in, what you bring in, what I see <clears throat> is freshness. Right, like it's just fresh, and like I said, a lot of people they mimic, mm -hmm. right? and and the sound that they mimic, and if it's hot, you'll get by with it, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like you, you get, get by, but how long will the longevity be? How long will the longevity be? You always have to find I, someone to copy, <laughs> so, right? Mm -hmm. I pointed this out to someone. Think about this. If you think about the most successful rappers out ever of all time, right? They never had a gimmick. Mm. So true. But this is, I'm telling you, this is like the gimmick age. <laughs> like, uh, this, a lot of artists only last one album. Mm, true, true. True. One hour. Maybe two if they're lucky. You're right. They're lucky, right? They're if they're lucky. lucky. But the ones who don't have a gimmick are perpetual. Mm. Right? Like they, they, they last forever. Mm -hmm. The Jay Z, the LL Cool J's, the Snoop Dogs, right? The Mary J. Blige. It's not a gimmick with Mary do you, J. What do you do? You think there's anybody in this age? So I know you named a lot of the, you know, like OGs. I like call oh guys. What about now? Um, J. Cole. I think J. Cole has late longevity, longevity mm -hmm. like possibilities. Mm -hmm. And then on the R&B side, it's hard because. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the hard one. R&B it, side. Tell it's me. Hard. It's hard because everybody sound like SZA. Exactly. Everybody is so <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, yes. yes. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Now I had like me Summer Walker. Now me Summer Walker and Janae Aiko. I love. I, I, I love those. Two. I don't know if Summer Walker is going to come out with anything, any, any, any more hits because of her and and London on the track. You know them splitting up. So I don't know what's going to happen with her career now. But you know. Janae, I, I like her. I like her little She's not. I like her vibe. But it, it seemed like when when Sizzler came out, like everybody was like, "Yo, that's it." I know. And they, yeah. I and, mean, and, she, and they sound good. People who mimic her sound good. She sounds good, you know. But I, I, you know, like to have my own way. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's crazy because the amigos. Are the rap scissor? Did you say amigos? Right. <laughs> I call them the amigos. I don't call them amigos. Like they are the amigos. <laughs> the amigos. Okay. Uh, because everyone tries to do what they do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And or, or do because they know it works. So people are just trying to go with what works. And I, you know, I don't blame them, you know, <laughs> but. Uh, I kind of do blame them. Why? Because, because art is about creativity. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's about creativity. It's about taking something, even if you borrow somebody else's style. Mix it up a little. Or you got to be better than them. True. True. Not going to go with that. You got to be better than them. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, so if you're going to take somebody else's style, Improve on it. I agreed. Agreed. Improve it. And they haven't improved it. Like it's just like and it's and it, it, it's what crazy. Do you think about social media. But that drives it all. Mm -hmm. Like that drives it all because 
you're not making any money off of record sales. Mm -hmm. Like you're not making any money. So you have to get views. Mm -hmm. Right? You have to get views. So if you have to get views, then that means you have to appeal to a mad, like wide array of people. Mm -hmm. And to try to edge out your own style would take too long when there's a style that everybody is already gravitating exactly. to. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Exactly. Exactly. And that's a recipe for what you say, uh, a quick turnaround in this industry <laughs> to be in and out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. why I like about your style. I like about your style. I like like that um, even your cadence in that song. Right? It's you're riding the beat, but you're not riding it like some somebody I've, I've ever heard before. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, it ain't... I, I can't say, oh, she sounds like Keisha Cole. Or she sounds... I can't say that. That's what I wanted. I wanted that. <laughs> I, I can't say that. So, yeah. you know, I love it. I love it. I mean, it's in rotation in my car. Thank when ain't know. nobody in the car. <laughs> Thank, I know I done played it out. Like I heard the song so many times now. <laughs> it's a good song. It's a good my son, he's three years old and he knows the words, okay? <laughs> it, oh, man. It's, it's, it's a good song. You have you, you you produced a nice project there. A nice Thank project. Thank you. And, um, and I was happy when you said that you was giving caught up its time in the limelight. Right, like mm -hmm. to a lot of artists, they make the mistake with trying to put out music back to back to back. To back. Exactly. And, and 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 they think in they're showing their creativity. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Mm -hmm. What they actually doing is making people get tired of them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like I'm, I'm, I'm tired of hearing that. <laughs> Right, <laughs> you know, but you can tell I'm going to get tired of is maybe this song, and I'm gonna be ready for the next one. You tired of this song? Yeah. I got something new for you, so exactly. exactly. <laughs> Just don't get tired of song me. Don't get tired of me. I know that's right. <laughs> I try to, um, especially R&B singers, I try to tell them go back and look at Janet Jackson's. I want to say it's the present. Um, my, my wife would tell me um, something principal album. It, it had the funny how time flies when we are having fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. 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 I don't know the name of the album. I got my trusty mm -hmm. phone now. <laughs> Maybe it was the pleasure principal. Uh, or, it might have been that. Or Nasty, or Nasty Boys. Whatever album it was. That album was releasing singles for two straight years. Releasing singles off of one album for two straight years. Janet did that? Yes. Mm. She and 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 all and like maybe seven of those singles went to number one. Mm. But it wasn't because they were just outstanding. Is because she found like that soft spot to where people are tired of that one song and they want another song, and and that's when she released it. It was it, it was mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right. It was for, for like me being a graphic designer, and I used to have a record company. I like looking at because I know like this. You have a talent. You can sing very well, but that doesn't make you a star. Mm -hmm. I've heard that over and over. <clears throat> that doesn't make you a, a, a to be a star. You got to be special, mm -hmm. right? You got to. And, and when I mean special, I don't mean like God came down and touched you on your shoulder and said you're going to be a star. What I mean is you have to understand the processes and everything that's involved with human um interaction right when like your video you didn't just do your video by yourself you had 
you had a team around you, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That was able to make that video be what it is. In order for a star to be made, that star has a team of people around him. Mm-hmm. Right? They have a lot of people responsible for that stardom. Mm-hmm. And what I want to say to you is, is that just keep singing. Just keep singing. You have a good voice. You have a good personality. I watch you. I watch you on Facebook and how how fun you are, and, and you like to have fun and, and and on Instagram. Keep doing that. Keep being you. Yeah, thank you. Keep being you. Thank you, thank you. Keep you know, I'm trying to show other side of me, you know, <laughs> like little give more than just pictures. I'm trying to give a little bit more. You know, there was a time I was very much so private in my life, but now I know. I can't be so private anymore. So I got to let some of it, you know, come out. Now, did you say you from Prince George County? Yes. What high school did you go to? Eleanor Roosevelt. Figures. In Greenbelt. (laughs) Why do you say that? It figures. Just your dialect. Uh, How do I sound? (laughs) I sound what? Proper. I know, right? <laughs> I do sound proper, but a little bit of country. <laughs> a little bit of country. <laughs> <laughs> when you're writing, mm-hmm. um, is it through inspiration? Is it through seeing something? Is it through experience? What 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 motivates you to write? Uh, <clears throat> it uh life experience honestly writing caught up was a little bit of a healing process for me uh it, because it, it it tells a story of a major time of what i came over um but it, I, I have a lot of story i have a lot of stories to get out of me um things you wouldn't even believe that i went through like <laughs> uh it's so crazy like oh you, you know it, it, it'll come out in the music, but I am very much inspired by life, very much. Um, and I and I and honestly, I'm not very secretive of the, of the things I went through. I, I I have no problem with expressing them and, and and talking about it because it's real. And I, I've noticed that when I do talk about some of my stuff, I really <clears throat> uplift others who can be going through some of the a, a lot of the same things or worse. So you know, I'm really not afraid to talk about the stuff, but you know. Uh, I still like to have it in my music too, so it can be like, oh my God, you went through that. Um, but a lot of it is, is is personal experience. Like I'm getting text messages right now from Q, the guy, my friend who helped with the, the concept of the video, like, say this, say that. <laughs> ah, Q, I got this. We, you know, um, but you know, he's a part of the team. He just wants to see <laughs> uh, Hey, man, listen, man. No one is successful by themselves. Yes, I, right. I like it, no one is successful by themselves, and and when you say you're not private, I think like sometimes for the most part. Okay, you said your son is three years old. Yes, and he knows the words to your song, right? Yes. But do you think he would know the words to your song if you told it to him? No. <laughs> No, right. Like I think, I think when the creator created the world, he created music not just for enjoyment, but to deliver messages. Right, like to deliver information. Music is universal all over the world. It brings so many people together. I don't care. care You You can be in China if you're black and you hear the bass. You rock exactly. Exactly. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. Oh Lord. Like you, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> you oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you, and, and and being in Baltimore, I can imagine you do not lack for material. Absolutely not. Oh, and I've lived in the trenches out here, y'all. The trenches. Uh-huh. Uh, I've seen it all. It's oh, this city—you can see it all. Okay, 
But um, in in but as far as caught up goes, though, uh, that's just me telling a story about you know being with a man and him basically consistently, you know, lying to you about having someone else, and you know, a lot of the times us women men to you know deal with some things you know i might have turned a blind eye to it before we argued about it before we got over it but here we are back again you embarrassing me again you're back with this woman again that is a personal story my first you know i am divorced okay and ex is with the mistress y'all with the mistress he done went and married so you know that's that that's one of those stories oh but see that that's another story now you stuck with her you thought the grass is green on the other side. See, I mean, I'm a song about that, you know, it ain't greener, but you there now, so stay there. Okay. I'm I know that's right. I'm on me. So, so question then, why did you stay so many, t- after so many incidents? God, it's, it's, it's like, I feel like us girls, women, as girls though, we're taught, you know, to, get that marriage, the husband, it's not going to, you know, better, thick, better or worse, you know, uh, all that, the vows I took, I took seriously and I tried to at least. And uh, <clears throat> I, I knew there might be some bad times, you know, <laughs> and, I, and I tried to work through it, you know, like a lot of us and had to realize it's just toxic, you know, pull myself out of this, you know, because I would get myself lost and this and go crazy and i don't want to i don't want to hurt anybody okay <laughs> let me just hurt them through my words of my so let me hurt them through my success so that's what i've been doing right i mean he probably looking back and he's seen that video like, he's seen, he seen that video he looked over to his mistress or the ah, woman and, like, and she could never compare <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop I'm being so petty on this. <laughs> hey, listen, let me tell you something. I'd rather you be petty this way than in any other type of way, right? Like, I'd rather for you. I rather your pettiness comes from you being happy. Yes, because I am. If, I'm in a happy if you being mad, they're the type of petty when you're happy, right? Petty, and you're mad petty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the mad petty, you don't want to see the mad exactly. petty. <laughs> you don't want to see that. Exactly. So but listen, so <laughs> so this was a this was a real life experience mm-hmm. that you went through. You sit down and you wrote it. When you wrote the last word, so I had to let him go. That's mm-hmm. what that's how the video ends. Yep. We read that particular song. How did you initially feel about it? When 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 what happened? When you when you finished the song, when oh, you wrote oh. the last sentence of that song, meaning I think the last sentence in the video is so I had to let him go. Right? What was your initial reaction after you read it again after you finished it? Okay. Let me tell you about that part. Actually, it's a little, little interesting. As you, I don't know if you realize that part is actually from the second verse. Yeah, you know, I just took that little clip and added it in the end, and I didn't even come up with that. My engineer, the producer, did. He was like, you know, I love how this. Let's put this in the end. I was like, you know what? That works. So that's that's a good way to end it. That 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 was it the ends. Like it just ends. Yes, that that, and that's the key phrase to end it on. It it, it works so well. <laughs> it right. Was, uh, <clears throat> um, but you know that that wasn't my doing at the beginning to have it end on that when I you know I was going to have it end the normal way on a hook or something like that. But uh, it ended on those last few words, and it was perfect. Uh, um, because that's what you have to do. You have to let it go, and that's you know it, it resonated so much with me. I I let it go. You know, there's a lot of times where we don't. I, I what I realize in bad relationships, I lose myself. Like I wasn't singing during that time. I didn't think I looked good. I didn't take you know. But as soon as I drop all of that, the dead weight, and start you know, that's when I you know had more music. <clears throat> oh hey, oh I didn't know people could. <laughs> uh, hey Q, look, I see this. Um. But no, it, it just, uh, he is, 
<laughs> oh, you're throwing me off. <laughs> I didn't know that these messages could come up at the end. But no, in, in the end, the end of that song really resonated with me because it, it really was a time where I focused on me. These past This past year and a half was really a time I said I wanted to put me first, even above my children. I love my children, love my babies, but there was a time I was putting everybody above me. And now I've been seeing since I put me first, focused on me, it's been... Re- every, children even reap the benefits. Everything like I, I've found a better person, you know, that I am with right now. Um, that I really enjoy. I'm I'm just in a better space. Oh, I hear you now. So, but my question is, when you finish writing the song mm-hmm. and it's done, and you got the lyrics. What do you feel about it? Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, I feel like, you know what it really feels like? You ever write in a diary? uh, Like I wrote in my diary and I purged. It's now gone. Okay. Okay. I get that. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Absolutely. I get that. That's and 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 you know, as a creative, even though singing and writing is your gift, it's also your medicine, mm-hmm. right? Like Absolutely. it's your gift, but it's your medicine as Absolutely. well. Because, you know, it's like I I, I write poetry, mm-hmm. and there are times when, you know, I'm not. Feeling like Denoris, mm-hmm. right? Like I'm not feeling like Denoris. I can always go to poetry to remind me of who Denoris is and why Denoris is here. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, and 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 it keeps me going. Like that's my creative space. So, and I can see singing, and probably the, the massage therapy aspect. <laughs> <laughs> So your next project comes out in August. Mm-hmm. Are you are you set to be performing anywhere anytime soon? Oh, uh, I'm trying to get some things lined up right now. Actually, there's a her uh, her show her showcase uh, in DC uh, in Baltimore. Actually, uh, it's going to be at a spot on Gay Street. I can't remember the name of the spot, but I will be performing there. I'm just getting it, it's a last minute performance that just came upon me today. So I'm not on the flyers yet or anything like, uh, but I'll have more of the details on that. Everybody just follow me, follow me on Instagram and you know, I'll be posting that. But so I, I, I will be performing in that soon. And uh, I'm still getting a whole lot of things lined up. I'm gonna be doing acting as well um, in some series that's supposed that we're working on coming out. So hopefully that comes out. Um, 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 you know, it, it'll all come. <laughs> Yesterday, I was on another station, um, and they played my music there, and and I was featured on that. So I have a you know other interviews lined up, <clears throat> but as far as performing, <laughs> things just changed a little bit. The COVID hit, and now people are trying to get back into doing live performances. So, um, still working on that, but it's coming. Hey. But when you go to a radio station, they interview you and they play your song, that feels good, doesn't it? It feels amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's amazing. It's amazing to get organic, you know, fans and followers and stuff like that who really like connect with, you know, me as a person and my my music and my vibe and my energy. Uh, It's an amazing feeling. (laughs) What you got planned for Saturday? Which Saturday? Saturday coming up. Oh, that's the her showcase. So I should be in that. Her showcase? Do you know who's throwing that? <clears throat> the coalition DJ coalition. Coalition okay. DJs, I think I'm of DMV. Have to perform at the Happy Nappy Day. Oh, that's that's this Saturday. Yeah. Right. I did all the treatment for that. Um, Lake of Howard over at uh, Dreads and Heads. 
does that every year and i'm sure i can get you on the bill but you're already scheduled you wait, know you wait, wait 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 we're gonna talk about that because i am scheduled but it is it's later so what time is yours it's not mine i i'm a graphic yeah and what time is that? my client has happy nappy day and she's looking for artists and performers um well, let's talk about that okay we'll talk about that off 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 screen okay Right, we're talking, but it, it, if you want to do it, it's a lot. I, I got you, it's a lot. Don't even worry about it. Okay, if you want to do it, and I, I, I would, I would give her your number and y'all can discuss. She's right there on, um, matter of fact, let me pull it up. She's right there on, um, where's Malika at? Um, anyway, I get her your contact. Sorry, get her so, your contact. That's Q. No, that's not Q. <laughs> that's oh. a new man, Ken, and he's a rapper, so he's out here. He's gonna do his little rap thing, you know. <laughs> no, no, bring it back in the camera. Oh, he to come, in the camera. <laughs> come on, man. Sit oh, man. down. Oh, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. What's up with y'all, man? The black what's up with you? What's up with y'all? What's up, man? What's going on, fam? What's that? And your name is? My Kensito. 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 Yes, sir. Do my music thing up in Baltimore, baby. <laughs> you East Baltimore. You artist as well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Artist, car sales, and extraordinaire. You know what's going on, baby. <laughs> 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 Get it all in. Get it. <laughs> you know, I gotta stay. Yeah, I gotta stay suited up. You know, for the occasion. You know, you, man, on. you look good. You look good. I appreciate you, man. You look good. Appreciate so, it. so, sorry. Is this your better half? This is. Okay, this, is. So that, this is my happy face now. <laughs> all right, now yeah. get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can this again. Hmm. I see why are you singing. <laughs> he's, he's handsome young man. Him should, yes, he is. Him and I should be coming out with something soon too. So look out for that. Nice. Nice. Well, before y'all do that, make sure that in the future no one knows you're a couple. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because the men gonna want they gonna fantasize about you, and the men women gonna fantasize about you. Who says the same thing? But I feel like people <laughs> like to see couples nowadays. I, I think it, it's cute. I think it's cute. It's, it's cute after you made it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> After you made it, it's cute. <laughs> not in the beginning. No, not I'm not, I hope I don't have nobody mad on the show right now looking and watching. <laughs> when have you seen J. Cole's wife? Oh, he got a girl though, don't he? He got a wife. He oh, married. That's his point. Exactly. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think it's so cute to show your man and being happy. You know, black love, bro. That's that, that's that that's that love bliss you're thinking about. That's the love bliss. Like that's the bliss. You're yeah. not thinking about industry. Yeah, not thinking about and you're right. You're right. You're about industry. The industry, everyone is a um I don't want to say icon, but when when Average people see stars, they they see them and they they admire them, but they they try to imagine themselves with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to imagine yourself with you, and you you know they know you got a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. And you know, I I try to keep my page man free for the most part, but you know I've been itching to want to post him on there. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I mean, I think you can do it. You just got to find a clever way to do it. Exactly. A clever way. I think he came up with a clever way today. He just did something a little cute on his page to show that he had a girl. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. 
Well, I, 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 I'm not going to wish y'all luck because luck has nothing to do with it. You already have the talent. You already have the ability. I'm Thank just going to pray that you continue to have the discipline to follow what you're doing. Yes. Right? Thank you. You know, so, but look, we're about to, we're about five minutes in. So before we go, I haven't even seen that long. This is this exactly. is an interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. No, no, no. I am honored that you have that you decided to come on because I really like your project. I'm not I'm not saying that just because I wanted you on the show. You know, I I like that song. I like I'm I'm a, I'm a a, a person that tries to see the, the whole picture, right? Like, I don't just look at, when I look at an artist nowadays, I'm not looking at how well, just how well they sing. I'm looking at their presence, like how well they, what type of presence they have behind the camera. Um, because in all actuality, singers now today, they, they got to have, just as much acting skills as they have vocal skills. Exactly. Because it's the videos that drives um, streams that drives your revenue. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and you have a good presence. You have um, what I like about you, I think for me is you, you let the song breathe. Yes. And and not try to overshadow it with star. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you let the song breathe. You let people get a chance to feel the song, feel you, feel where you're coming from, and see if they can relate from it. So I I, I like that song. Thank but you. I can't let you get out of here oh. without a few questions. Okay. All right. So the first question is, what are you doing to push the culture forward? Hmm. I'm bringing R&B back, true R&B. <laughs> so that's that. <clears throat> okay. All right, the next question. It's not hard. It shouldn't be hard. But it... it a lot of a lot of my guests have a hard time with this next question. Okay. So I need for you to name me three important black people, but they can't be athletes or entertainers. Uh, Doctor Sadie, I guess I would say is one. Uh, I was a vegan for seven years, and I got a lot of uh, a, a lot of resourceful information from his teachings on nutrition, uh, things like that. Who else? That's that's black, not an entertainer. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Dang, three? Why can't I come up with three star? Like I should know this. Give me. No, oh, tell Ken. No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I know a couple with this off the I know the Instagram. I have another one. It's a guy that I follow that I that I like. And okay. I <laughs> Lee Merritt. Uh yes. I like after this for for mm -hmm. uh basically you know uh, us black people who have been uh he's taken on a lot of these big cases like as far as like uh george floyd type of kid like police right. brutality and things like that that really resonates with me because i am a victim of police brutality can't talk about it too much because i had a lawsuit as well so um i've gone through major things with that so but so that's another one too and third 
I'm not an entertainer. Ken couldn't even give me one. I can, okay. I can give you one, but I just know that 500K man, like, he's a really good entrepreneur. He does his thing over there. 500K man. He said he does. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'm a 500k man, though. Oh, okay. Okay. We're not taking 5k. We're not okay. taking 5k, man. Yeah. I don't... Mm -hmm. One yes. more. One more! No Hold one. Because there has to be a woman. I done named two men. I'm, I'm going to say this. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. That's Stevie Wonder. Who was he singing it to? Who was he singing it to? Martin Luther King. Oh, shut up. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot those are like the cliches. I tried to like go, I tried to go steer away from those. But yes, Martin Luther King, right. you know, no, no, no. all those. <clears throat> I ask those questions because it goes to show us how much we're not being taught about us. Mm -hmm. Right? If I would have told you to mention to name three famous white people and they're not athletes to entertain us. That would be hard too. Like, I don't know. No, you probably, I, I can tell you who you say. You say, you, you say Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Mariah Carey. Oh, I like him a lot. I like him too. Who you say? Rizzo Islam. Yeah, Rizzo Islam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like Rizza. I like Rizza with his fast talking self. Is that? <laughs> I know. But look, Star, it's yeah. been a pleasure. Yeah. Tell Ken he up next. He up next. All right. We'll get yeah. back together. Tell Ken he up next. But stick around. Let me run the outro and I can get you Malika's information and y'all can discuss if, you know, if you have time to shoot yeah. a happy, happy day and, and perform. That'd be great. But, and I'll come back to you at the end of the show, okay? All right. All right. Tell Ken I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Everybody, Star B, check out her single, Caught Up. Is it available on all major platforms right yes. now? Yes, it is. Title, yeah. Apple it's Music, available. Spotify, Caught Up, Star, S-T-A-R-R-B. Star B. Yo, on the rise. Now check this out, little star. When you get up there in the Grammys, <laughs> you're accepting your award. When you're accepting your award, I expect a shout out. Yeah. I, <laughs> I expect it. Yes. <laughs> you got that. <it. laughs> thank you, star. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, everybody. That's Star B. Her single caught up. And um check it out. It's on available on all major platforms. Uh, she said Spotify. Um I I'm hope I'm I'm correct. Spotify title. Um I I I music. Um Wherever you can, wherever you download the stream your music at, just check out Star B, Card Up, and, and, and listen to the song and be awaiting for um, her upcoming project in August, man. And she's already said it, and I'm going to hold her to it. She says she's going to come back in August and she's going to preview, preview or premiere the new single. And hopefully, it will be a company with a video and 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 i love to see that but everybody <clears throat> i hope you enjoyed the show um we try to give you and i say we and it's me but the bri i want to give you a great experience i want to give you black royalty and all this glory um education entertainment um information all to provide you with inspiration these are normal people they're not rich they're not wealthy 
but they have a gift and they have a dream and they have desire and they find a way to make a way and you can find a way to make a way. You can do whatever you will. Where there's a will, there's a way and you were created with the will. So there's always a way. And with that, I say peace. And remember, in order for you to receive a blessing, you must first be a blessing. Peace.